Hello class, this is section 3.6 and we are going to discuss forced oscillation but with damping. So this time we have a C and it's not zero, but we have a similar situation. We have a little mechanical oscillation model, but there's also an outside force acting on it. And this outside force is periodic. It's written in the form cosine of omega t for omega some frequency. So again, we have to use the method of undetermined coefficients. We can write that x is equal to a cosine omega t plus b sine omega t. And we have to add the sine this time because we do have a x prime term. We have also x prime t making the usual differentiation equals minus a omega sine omega t plus b omega cosine omega t. And the second derivative minus a omega squared cosine omega t plus rather minus b omega squared cosine sine omega t. So writing down the left hand side, which consists of k times xt plus c plus x prime t plus m times x double prime t. We know that the, this left hand side is all going to be equal to f naught cosine omega t. So let's collect terms. So looking at the cosine terms, what do we have? We have a times k plus b c omega minus m a omega squared equals f naught and looking at the sine terms we have bk minus ac omega minus m b omega squared equals zero You can rewrite these two equations in this form. So k minus m omega squared a plus c omega b equals f naught and k minus m omega squared b minus c omega a equals zero. So the second equation just gets us that b equals c omega a over k minus m omega squared. And plugging that in to the first equation, this gets us oh sorry, uh, I mean Plugging that in from the first equation, this gets us k minus m omega squared a plus c omega squared a over k minus m omega squared equals f naught. This is equivalent to factoring a out. k 
a minus m omega squared squared plus c omega squared over k minus m omega squared. equals f naught, and so a is just going to be equal to k minus m omega squared f naught over k minus m omega squared squared plus c omega squared. And we can calculate b similarly now if you remember if you remember from the video about the amplitude formula we know that we have a solution now uh, of the form a cosine plus b sine with the same frequency omega so the amplitude which we label c is going to be a squared plus b squared and the algebra for plugging this, these guys in it's going to be square root of factoring the f naught squared out we simply get k minus m omega squared squared plus c omega squared over k minus m omega squared squared plus c omega squared and this thing squared but we can just cancel the top and the bottom so this cancels with the squared here and what we're left with is that the amplitude is equal to f naught over square root of k minus m omega squared squared plus c omega squared. So we don't have a resonance like we did in the case where there was no damping constant, but we say the practical resonance is the frequency that maximizes the amplitude. So what's going to happen is that as the omega changes, your C, the uh, C, the amplitude is going to look something like that. And this value is called the practical resonance. It won't go into infinity like it did when we assume that the damping constant was zero, but it's also good to keep in mind what frequencies cause a jump in amplitude. And we will calculate that in an example, but it boils down to maximizing this C or maximizing this is equivalent to minimizing this polynomial in the de denominator. We will go to an example shortly. 